I want to introduce something to you today that will change your life. I want to tell you about my life before and my life after. My life was chaotic. My life was scrambly, always running late, constantly trying to find something that was so crucial to the rest of my day. I don't know how I existed without it. I don't know how you exist today without it. Because once I found this, it was like, wow, I can live again. I can live with confidence knowing that I will never, ever lose my keys again. That's right, I'm talking to you about the tile. This little guy right here was just like, oh my gosh, my life is changed because of this thing. No longer am I frantically running around the house blaming my wife for misplacing my keys, or should I say, putting my keys where they actually go. No, I can actually just find it using a little app and I can find my keys. And the great thing, I can actually find my phone. You just double click this and it finds my phone and it's like, wow, I can get out of the house on time, or relatively on time. It was amazing what this little device could do for me. It's amazing, just like one little thing, and it's like, wow, my life is different. And it's so funny, I can end up talking about a tile so passionately, but sometimes I don't have the same passion about my life before and after Christ as I probably should. And in Ephesians chapter 2, it gives this incredible picture of what it is to be alive in Christ. My name is Trent Jenkins. I'm one of our pastors here at North Coast Church, and I am so incredibly grateful that I found Christ, and I understand this passage in a much better way. I'm excited to be able to share with you right now. We're going to take in Ephesians chapter 2, starting at verse 4. It says this, But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in our transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. There's this reality that our lives were this element of chaos. It says we were objects of our own wrath in verse 3. We are living our lives in our selfish manner, going about our own personal pleasures, that we are gratifying the desires of the flesh, it says. And then we met Christ. It says we were made alive in Christ because of his grace. It says this in verse 8, it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves, it is a gift of God. Not by works so that no one can boast, for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he's prepared in advance for us to do. I think there's a lot of times we go about our, our Christian walk as somehow we deserve what we have. This freedom, this confidence that we get to have, that our sins are forgiven, that the afterlife, that death is not going to scare us because we have Christ. But the reality is, it's all a gift from God. The reality is, is he's the one that's changed us. I can walk around confidently acting like I have my act all together, that I know where everything is placed all the time now because I got this as a gift. Right? I got this as a gift. Someone could look at it as an insult because I got it for Christmas. But no, for me, it was a gift. This little device brought order to my life in a way where I always used to forget things. Jesus is much bigger than some little tile. Jesus brought about order and peace and confidence in my life that is undescribable. I just want to know from you, and I've got to ask myself this question, do I remember what it was to be before Christ, my before Christ, my BC self, and then my after Christ self, and, and how it is that I live my life out for him Ultimately, he's asking us is just to be able to give him glory for the life that we now have, that we get to become some sort of evangelist, not for a tile, but for Jesus Christ, who's going to give us life. And so it says this, it says in, uh, at the bottom of this chapter 19, consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens of God's people and members of God's household. So I just want to ask you today. We're God's household, members of his house. Your actions, your words, your attitude, you're a representative of Christ. 
your representative of God, is it reflecting on him well or is it reflecting on you? And we somehow end up creating a division line there, but it's all one. We're members of his house and how we act ultimately signifies who he is. This gift that you and I were given, we were made alive in Christ because of his grace, not because we deserved it, not because I was so great, but because of how great he was. As you go about your day today, as you go home to your family today, I wanna encourage you, live a life, honor a glory towards God. Give him glory, give him your life today, and be found made alive in Christ. Have a great one.